Hello everybody and a good day to you all today. I'm talking about Beauty and the Beast episode number five. It's a wonderful beast. This episode was directed by um Stuart Gellert. In this episode here, they pretty much do their take on a wonderful life. Vincent had just got just got finished fighting some more assassins. He still hasn't fully recovered from the last gunshot wound from the last episode. He's still healing from that. And he's seeing Catherine, and he's seeing how her life, how her life is. He's thinking to himself, maybe your life will be better off if you never met me. Maybe you would be happier. Maybe you probably found somebody who can, you can live the rest of your life with. Not worrying about any, about any beasts or assassins or somebody trying to kill us or capture us again, over and over again. And he said, I am a plague on your life. I am the worst thing that could ever happen to you. It probably be better off if you never met me at all. And he's bleeding out because um, because the wound from the gunshot is open, reopened. And he's practically dying. He's, he's hallucinating. And in his, in, in his hallucination, in his dream state, he, he, he pictures a, a whole world where he never met Catherine. I mean, sort of. It's like everything got reset back to the, to the way it was. But through this, he realizes that Catherine and himself pretty much need each other. Because both of them are broken. Because Catherine, even though she didn't marry Vincent or become a couple, he still did save her in the woods. That part still happened. But because he never made himself known to her and never appeared in her, in her life, she became obsessed with him. And even though she got married, to um Evan Marks and they they brought back um Max Brown who played who played by Max Brown they brought him back in this picture they also brought back Ted Whit um Whittall, who played um Bob Reynolds um Catherine's dad so she marries Evan in in this in this, in this um alternate world but they're not really completely happy because she's still obsessed with the guy with this thing that saves her life and she's been telling everybody this but nobody but nobody believes her and it kind of makes a gap between their relationship because she's so obsessed with finding out the truth about who saved her and how they saved her and why that it's kind of messing up their relationship. So even though she never was with Vincent, she's still kind of searching for him at the same time. And you have um, JT, who pretty much life is not that great now because he never really met Tess. And he's living on the ground with Vincent because he's trying to keep him safe and trying to keep him under control because Vincent in this world is back to where he started off at where he had no control of when, he, when he transformed into a beast. Every time he got upset or angry or frustrated, he just beast out. But this this time, he in this world, he had no control over it. And he wakes up at a zoo after killing, I guess, a deer. I know. So even though this 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 whole story has not is not original, it, it has been told before. I still enjoyed it. and It was done quite well in this episode here. Um, I I enjoy seeing the alternate side of of, 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 of the other of the other characters like JT and Tess, and um Catherine. And seeing old people, and seeing um, old cast members that are coming back from this, um from this um episode right here was was fun to watch and interesting to see. Like, cause you can tell that this, since this is the last season, everything's coming like full circle, and I really did enjoy that a whole lot. And even though this this, this story is not original, it was still fun and enjoyable to watch. So leave your comments down below. Let me know what you thought about this episode of Beauty and the Beast. And are you enjoying this season so far? Are you enjoying how it's um, how it's ending? Leave your comments down below. And if you haven't been watching it, so check it out for yourself. Don't take my word for it. Hopefully you will enjoy it and have a whole lot of fun watching it. Well, that's all I got to say about that. So give my channel a like and thumbs up. Boom. And subscribe to my channel and share. I really would appreciate it, like I always say, in my dreams and real life. I am the Ninja Rabbit. A uh, peace out of uh, peoples.